Well, welcome to part two and the back nine. We start at ten, little dog leg left over a brow, you can't see very much. My three playing partners had all hit duffers, but I absolutely nutted one. Second shot, I left myself about 85 yards. Knocked it into about six feet. Job done. Look, I had two putts for it. Of course I tapped it up there. Not. <laughs> Number 11, the first par 5 on the back. Now without the wind, I would hope to get somewhere very, very close in two, but this turns into a real tough three shot today. Right, I got 110 here and I'm going with a 9 iron. And you may not want me as a foursomes partner in the wind. Because I'm come up about 10 yards short of the green. Unbelievable. Anybody want to pass comment on this putt? I was arguing to have it given actually, but they wouldn't give it me because they were too down at this point. Right, 12th hole. Basher has just torn a big long drive down here and not to be outdone. I absolutely pound it at 25 or even 30 yards past him. Here we go. Absolutely ripped it. Lovely. Can't remember what yardage I've left myself here, but it's down the wind and I want to keep the ball low. So I take a nine iron and just knock it down. Now I don't actually know what changes I make to my swing to do this. I just think I want to hit a low one and I hit a low one. I don't think I could teach it and just for a change we'll show you me running after my divot they do get replaced and and the pitch marks Right, number 13, this is a real awkward one. You've actually got to drive over those trees on the left. And I completely flare this one out into the 12th fairway. But if you think that's bad, Basher was at least 20 yards wider than me. And about 155. 
I needed to draw the 5 iron into this wind and I just don't quite do it but at least I get up there pin eye. Well I wasn't too sure what to do here above the green and down the slope. I just hit it too damned hard. Double shot I think made the best par of the day on this hole and won it. Can't remember what the score was at this point. I know what the score finished at. But I don't know what the score is right now. Well this is a shot that my coach and I are trying to get rid of. It's the over the top with the shut face, the low and to the left, probably the most destructive shot you can hit, certainly worse than a cut. Number 15. I think everyone is flagging now from the wind. So it's time for a good golfer to step up to the plate for a couple of holes, don't you think? So on the back of that birdie, time to hit a real good drive on the par 5. Get a par out of it. Just put your foot on the back of the head and win the match. The three kings who are supposedly buried here, some old English kings from goodness knows how many hundreds of years ago. Not sure I believe it though, do you? Not sure what happens with this. Seems to jump straight left on me. Seventeen. We were expecting to play downhill, but we're on this temporary tee playing up to a temporary green. 
Both Barney and I knifed it into the bank and we lost the hole to Bash's birdie. Yeah, real, real awful. And this is the hole we should have played, which is the downhill par 3. But uh, the green was out of use because it was wet. 18th hole, and we're all square here. Now double shot had hit a monster slice, and I think he was down the road. And I hit a leaky one too. But at least mine found the fairway. There's more space out there than you imagine. Well that's it, we uh, halved the last in bogey, we halved the match overall, I was two over my handicap, and chip butties and beer, here we go.